my brothers and sisters in Christ, in today's first reading, we hear the first part of the great persecution of St. Stephen that will uh, end up with his martyrdom. But this witness of Stephen uh, as kind of the, the proto-martyr for Christ in the Acts of the Apostles uh, is wonderfully continued in the tradition of the saint whose memorial the church celebrates today, and that is St. Athanasius. St. Athanasius uh, was known as one of the great champions of the Orthodox faith, uh, because in 323, when the Arian controversy really broke out, and that was one of the most famous heresies in the first centuries of the church, Arianism taught that Christ, uh, that, that Christ was created by God, uh, that his divinity was an illusion instead, that he was, he was uh, you know, a creature created by God, that Jesus was holy, but that he himself was not God. The, 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 the theology of this heresy is a little more complicated, but at the heart of it was a denial of the divinity of Jesus. And so this was a very divisive uh, heresy in the early church because the, the arguments convinced some people. And so famously in the, the Council of Nicaea in 325, that was called to combat this heresy, and that was the time at which the creed that we know as the Nicene Creed was adopted. The version of the Nicene Creed that we pray at, at church on Sundays and on holy days uh, actually was, was later amended in 380 at the Council of Constantinople. So the, the first version of the Nicene Creed was later edited again. But this was championed in a lot of ways by Athanasius. Uh, who was the, the sidekick of the local bishop there, and was a champion in promoting the Orthodox faith. And in the spite of every persecution, Arius had powerful friends. He enlisted the help of other bishops and many times even emperors to bring suffering against Athanasius because Athanasius was such a powerful advocate of the, the true teaching of the faith. And so over the course of his life, Athanasius got banished over five different times. Uh, he spent something like 17, 18 years of his life in exile amongst these five different periods of exile. And all of those exiles were by different people, different emperors. Uh, many times he was just threatened through, through word or slandered. Other times was threatened with physical violence. And yet he was unwavering in championing the faith. So like St. Stephen that we hear in the first reading, whose face was said to look like that of an angel, Athanasius was unwavering in the threat of the sword. And so much as Stephen ultimately was, was martyred uh, for Jesus, while Athanasius never ended up being martyred, he suffered greatly uh, for his defense of the faith, and yet defend it he did, and he never wavered. And in fact, today, the, the Orthodox faith that we carry uh, in the, the creed that we profess on every Sunday, we have St. Athanasius to thank for, for leading the faithful of that time uh, to that profession of the true faith that Jesus Christ is divine and human. He is the second person of the Holy Trinity, fully God, fully man. This is a great mystery of our faith, but essential to everything. And so, yes, we're inspired to follow the way of St. Athanasius uh, in, in witnessing to what we believe. Yes, we're called to be steadfast and to imitate his great virtue. Uh, but we're also uh, reminded that unwavering witness in big ways and in small ways uh, means a lot. And that anything we can do to lead our brothers and sisters to Christ will never be in vain. Saint Athanasius, pray for us. <laughs>